versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's so that's that's the whole entire premise then of okay. uh, government and immorality. And then what people tend to do with that kind of power, right? Have we seen? Uh, you mentioned you're from Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, always gunning for for that kind of totalitarian <laughs> control, right? Yeah. Uh, as soon as they get one taste, it's like sharks. And when they they smell like a drop of blood, it's like yeah, you know, they go out there and reach it, they grab hold onto it, and then everyone suffers as a result. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned you're. Um, you're Cuban, so then anybody escaped from Cuba on from your side? Yeah, it was um, actually my dad's father was a doctor, and um, when Castro was taking over, a big thing was like you know getting rid of anybody who like opposes his viewpoint and like anybody intelligent enough to see what was wrong with the way that he was thinking, and um, they were killing a lot of doctors, and so my dad's father was like, okay, I need to start like working on uh, getting out of Cuba. And so, like, he flew over and started to, like, build a life for um, his family as they were, like, moving over. And uh, then, like, Castro was like, well, we can't have all our doctors. Like, he was killing so many doctors that they were like, okay, now doctors are trying to leave, and we can't have that because then we're not going to have any doctors, and that's stupid. So then there was, like, he was trying to pass a, like, he was trying, pretty much saying, you have to come back. Your family can leave, but you have to come back. Oh, my gosh. And um, it was just this whole thing, and... Uh, I, my father was lucky because uh, my mom's, my my father's mom's dad was a uh, was in uh, I forget the word. Mm. He was in politics, and he pretty much told Castro, "Yeah, he's come back. Just send his family. Everything will be good." So they pretty much uh, they pretty much escaped by lying to Castro's face. And uh, so, he, like, it's kind of funny. They were saying that, like, they were going to help uh, Cubans, like, start being able to go back to Cuba. But even, like, with the government the way that it is, I still, me and my family still, like, if I tried to go back, they would detain me because I am, like, indirect. Like, my dad's dad was the man who, like, lied. So it's like, I can't go back because we're very afraid that they would still, like, detain us and everything like right. that. Like, my second cousins they can go back because they're not like a part of that family they escaped in different means so like they can go back and they've gone back and they like take pictures and everything like that but like man yeah. that's terrifying it's, uh yeah. you still have family over there then um not like not the anybody that we're in touch with most right. of us like at least uh immediate family they all escaped and like as far as i know we don't have any i know that my dad's dad's father uh when they were leaving he didn't want to leave because he was really like attached to like where he was and like he w he had like so many plans for like their family and everything like that so when they got kicked out he decided to stay yeah and he ended up like they took away most of their property and they moved him into like the attic of his property with like three other families and like the other families were like stealing like his food stamps. Yeah. So he was like pretty much starved to death. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's like I mean, like when you have like all these people when Castro finally died, right? You see like people like Canadian prime ministers like, oh yeah, you're yeah. such a good guy. It's like, dude, do you not know what's happening over there? Oh my God, that made me so furious. <laughs> I was so like... For a solid week, I was just like, all these people were like sad that Castro died, and I was like, this is probably the best news I've heard in like <laughs> five years. Like, are you joking? Right? Like, the guy sent gay people to concentration camps just for yeah. being gay. It's like, how can like any LGTB group, anybody out there say, yeah, man, I, this guy was decent. It's like, oh man, oh Fidel, power, viva Fidel. It's like, Jesus Christ. The dude was like, he had, when they were first, um, this is something that my dad just told me about recently, is like, uh, they were having like firing squads, and then the people that they would murder, they would, they would get their blood and then sell it to other countries as like blood donations and stuff like that. Jesus. So like, they were like, they were doing horrible, like horrible things, like, um. Like Che. Che. My dad actually says, like, he was very young at the time, but like, um, Che, uh, my dad's next door neighbor, he was like three or four, but he still remembers like my, his next door neighbor was dragged out into the street in front of his children and shot in the head by Shay in front of his children and then his children were murdered. And that was right next door. Like it's, it was just horrible and I just, 
And for like for students here today, right, to like go out there wear their Che T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, no idea of like the history of what the the brutality that this monster had incur upon thousands of people on that yeah. island, right? It's like, oh, communism is cool. So yeah, what, you know, spend spend some time in Cuba, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Spend some time in those boots. Spend some time along those walls of those uh, fire and death squads yeah. uh, running around. Um, no, that, it's it's disgusting. Um, I think uh, what does push it back is like this kind of uh, conversation or like. The awareness of it, right? Or t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's not cool. There's nothing trending about murdering innocent people. Yeah, it's it's funny. I had a friend who was wearing one of those shirts, and I asked him what he thought of him. He was like, this dude's a freedom fighter. This guy is fighting for, like, what he believes in, and I respect him. And I was like, do you know all the horrible things that he's done? And it's like, a lot of people are just so uninformed. They just don't understand, like, how horrible it is. And, like, there was this whole thing is, like, in the last election, People were thinking that uh, Cubans were going to vote very democratically, like be on the Democrat side. And I was like, you don't understand, like they already, they're running away from communism. Anything that's as far away from communism as possible, they're going to vote for that. They're not in America because they're like, I, I just don't understand what people think happened to Cubans. Like, right. it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't think uh, the leftist side has always been very anti-communist, so why would they kind of be over to that to that area, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but you find then, like, it's funny. So people are talking about like, oh, look, um, Trump uh, and his immigration policy policies, and people went out there and protested. But you never hear any protests about Obama ending the uh, wet foot, dry foot policy. Yeah, exactly. Right? Where like, was that? I thought that was so sneaky. Where, where? It was like, <laughs> it was like he's like, yeah, I'm helping relations with Cuba and everything like that. And then like right before he leaves, he's like, oh yeah, and you guys can just go back now. Like, right? It was like we've had this law for like. 40 50 years and you're just gonna get rid of it now like just be why there was no reason for that it was just so well, where was the outcry disgusting. where was the protest nobody cares nobody cares why because sometimes they generally vote republican right exactly right if it's not part of their narrative and their agenda they don't care exactly right yeah no that was horrible some people were like caught at the border he even at the southern texas border and really? mexico for the first time deported him to cuba that's awesome what do you think is going to happen to them there Horrible, horrible things. Right? It's, it's it's terrible. It is I so just... terrible. Oh my god. Well, thanks for talking to me about this. I think <laughs> this stuff is very important. Yeah, uh, Cuban to Cuban. That's yeah. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I look forward to um, I don't know digging up his ashes, throwing it into a carpet of uh, <laughs> trash, and heap, and just just throw it out there, yeah. right? Um, I mean, I'm so happy that you're talking about this stuff because, like, I feel like. I mean, I don't know how many people your YouTube channel has following it, but like, the like if anybody can learn about like the horrible, horrible things that Castro did, it's just that makes my life a whole lot easier because like I've actually lost friends because they weren't li willing to listen and they were going on and like you know for for a group of people who are so focused on like not offending anybody yeah. when you're when you're when you're offended by what they're doing, they don't care. It's like they're so worried about like I don't I don't want my rights uh, infringed upon I I don't want to be offended I don't want you saying anything that hurts my feelings or anything like that but when they say or do something that hurts your feelings or offends you they don't care because they just think that they're spouting the truth and right. it's like yeah go very ahead and talk biased. see if you can go get away with like talking about that and keep it right you know they yeah. they talk so much about their literacy rates like what good is a hundred percent literacy rate when all you can read is Cuban uh, propaganda <laughs> yeah exactly Communist I mean, propaganda right yeah <laughs> it's bullshit so bullshit um and then of course that's that's the thing about here at university that's why i think it's very important to do a lot of this here because sometimes history here is not particularly objective and showcasing the other side it's sometimes it's very marxist leaning uh towards those end <laughs> yeah and uh, aggrandizing people like che Guevara, right yeah um but no thanks for having this conversation for <laughs> me i'm cal by the way <laughs> you're what i'm cal cal okay yeah. nice what's your uh, youtube uh called? so it's um it's on youtube it's called cal moloney i'll give you uh, the info for that as well i'm part okay. of a group called liberate rva okay. uh so we're very much pro capitalism very much pro markets <laughs> very much awesome. for body ownership uh, entirely anti-communism. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Right? Uh, and, and that's the kind of stuff we want to push back and kind of uh, help people realize because a lot of people just don't know the atrocities that they've done. No one ever said, like, I risk life and limb trying to escape capitalism, right? Yeah. <laughs> no one ever says yeah, that. No. Ten thousands, tens of thousands of people have died trying to escape Cuba in those stark infested waters. Yeah. Right? Just on, just on whatever they could find, on styrofoam, on uh, tubs, tubs yeah. whatever, right? It's horrible. It's horrible.
But uh, thanks for Thank talking so for much. me. Yeah, <laughs> let I me give you some stuff then, real quick.